Hi, I'm Dr. Neha Gupta, Senior Infectious Diseases Physician and today we are going to discuss regarding Klebsiella pneumoniae infections. So, why are we discussing infections due to Klebsiella pneumoniae? Because it is a very common bacterial infection. Community may be bahut sare patients hain jisko jinko is bacteria se infection hota hai jaise ki urine infections due to Klebsiella pneumoniae intra abdominal ya liver mein infection hona lung infections because uh, especially in patients with diabetes or jinko heart ki problem hai unko lung mein infection besides streptococcus pneumoniae klebsiella pneumonia se bhi ho sakta hai skin mein infections jaise ki cellulitis ya abscess hona ya necrotizing fasciitis complicated infections besides bone infections especially agar koi trauma ho gaya ho ya koi road traffic accident hai ya implant hai uske baad mein infection because of klebsiella pneumonia is also very common it can cause infection anywhere from brain uh, from top to the toe so brain infections because of klebsiella is also life threatening how do we diagnose it um, especially if agar, if a patient is in the uh, icu then it will be if it, uh, we are suspecting bloodstream infection then blood cultures are very important urine infection agar hai to urine cultures and agar lung mein infection hai to sputum culture ya fir multiplex pcrs are available for making the diagnosis and of course sample has to be sent for appropriate microscopy which is gram stain as well as proper cultures a clean collection and quick transport to the lab is very very important similarly agar patient community se aa raha hai matlab uh, hospital mein nahi admitted opt mein dikha raha hai to based on the site of infections hame sample collection before starting the antibiotics karna chahiye ab iska treatment kaise kare it will depend upon susceptibility kya hai klebsiella pneumonia ki if it is susceptible to first second generation of phylloxerin we can use it but nowadays especially agar patient ne prior antibiotic li hai so we are seeing more and more resistant klebsiella pneumonia also in the community as well as in the hospital setting and if there is a prior exposure of antibiotics then carbapenem resistant klebsiella pneumonia is becoming a huge problem in the hospitals and sometimes in fact carbapenem which is a very high end antibiotic uh, is resistant in close to 25 to 80% of the isolates depending upon center to center so isko treat karne ke liye we have certain options which includes uh, polymyxin b colistin tetracycline minocycline fosfomycin amikacin and also newer generation cephalosporins which are uh ceftazidime avibactam so all these molecules have certain uh, uh advantages and certain disadvantages like toxicity har kisi antibiotic ki kuch na kuch fayde bhi hai aur kuch toxicity bhi hai for example colistin will be neurotoxic and nephrotoxic so agar kisi ko kidney ka infection hai aur usme already creatinine upar hai kidney fail ho rahi hai to instead of colistin we would like to use a kidney safe antibiotic which is septicidy avibactam or fosfomycin and agar kisi ko pet ka problem hai intra abdominal infection hai liver mein infection hai ya fir colon intestines mein infection hai then tetracycline minocycline will be preferable because they have very high concentration into the uh, into the intestines or in in the intra abdominal uh, region and also um, tetracycline does not cause any kidney toxicity uh, it does not have good uh, kidney concentration and hence should not be used for the treatment of urine infections so um uh, how do we know that which this antibiotic has to be taken so it will depend upon the susceptibility and also we should know the mechanism of resistance of the carbapenem in the klebsiella pneumonia which can be checked with the help of a uh, certain test which like the expert carbar or even pcrs are available lateral flow assays are available which can detect the carbapenemesis whether it's a oxa 48 or it's a ndm and based on the mechanism of resistance we can choose our antibiotic if it is only oxa 48 then we can use only ceftazidime avibactam for treatment of most of the infections very effectively it does not have any kidney um, toxicity as compared to the polymyxin klebsiella pneumoniae is present also in the hands and it can spread very fast so 
most important is to focus on hand hygiene, use of hand rub solution, two pumps for 30 seconds and uh, this will prevent the spread of infection from one patient to another, uh, another patient in the hospital as well. So I hope this information is useful uh, for, uh, for all of you and kindly like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much.